time management out in the workshop is going to be uh, something that everybody has to deal with, but uh, I'm finding it very difficult right now because uh, this car is basically done, but it's taken up the hoist position because it doesn't run because the carburetor needs to get rebuilt. Now, me finding a carb kit for this carburetor, which is basically off of Pinto, is very hard to come by, but... Um, I'm trying to find it. I don't want to spend $100 on the rebuild kit, which what it should, it's costing me just about everywhere. So I'm trying to find a cheaper one. But this car is just about ready to go. It runs. It's just the carburetor screwed. The timing needs to be done. The cage is in. I've started welding the doors. Um, I do have to swap the rims out for non-chrome ones. Sorry, non-aluminum ones. I've got the bumper mounted. I've got the rad mounted. I've got all my rad tubes ran. Uh, steering, I'm just going to run manual steering. I don't need power. Just going to loop those two lines right there. Um, so this car is essentially done. And it takes me about... If I'm out here for eight hours a day, I could build this car in about four days. So you're talking 36 hours to build a car like this. Now, that's motor swap, drive shaft build, uh, rear, drive, rear trailing arms upgrade, suspension upgrade... MSD in it, cage in it, da all f full interior out, rear of it tucked, all that fun stuff. But in the time, it oh, and loaded bumper, the time for me to build one of these cars, I can build two Sunfires or Cavaliers. And these are competitive cars. Like, like that one over there is a winner. That is a two-time winner plus a rollover in a third place and it's going to be ran again. But I can build these cars like no tomorrow. This one here has already got the loaded bumper. Threaded rod, uh, suspension's been upgraded, um, all in the interiors out. My girlfriend actually timed me yesterday, taking out the interior in this car, and it was 42 minutes to fully take all the interior, I mean glass, cut out the glass, vacuum it, everything. The only thing I have left to do is gas tank, battery, exhaust, and airbags and cage. Like realistically, that's only three hours for this car. The back is done. I just want to bring the back down a little bit lower. I need the hoist to bend the car up, right? But, and these cars are cheap. Like, I get these cars from anywhere from $60 to $160, depending on how rusty they are. Like, this one here is pretty rusty. But, for one run and home, like, who cares? But, um, it's, it's all about how you use your time out here. I know people that take months to build derby cars, but I know people that build them in a day. But it's all in how you use your time. See, like, that car is going to take quite a bit of time because it's going to need a motor swap and it's going to be a full weld. That car is going to be quick. That car is already built. That car there will probably be pretty quick. Uh, like, this right here is what I'm talking about for a Cavalier. Like, this has got a uh, figure eight and two runs on it and a one win and a third place, and it's been rolled. Like, I rolled a guy with it. Like... The floor is starting to come in and everything, but this is still a good, solid car. You you put a good bumper on these cars, and you do the threaded rod right, and they hold up. But uh, it's all about how how much you use your time and how you're planning on building the cars. you got to think which is the best source of time. 